These days before Thanksgiving are like free throws at the craps table for President Biden and his administration. If you win, great. And if you lose, nobody is paying attention. The usual White House correspondents have already left for a long weekend. The big time cable anchors are off or they're at their home studios. I'm not big time. I'm still here in studio and I'm working. Newspapers have canned pieces ready about Black Friday. So no surprise today, President Biden extended the student loan payment holiday. Of course, he didn't do a ceremony or anything. The White House put out a release after he already left for vacation and a Twitter video. That's because Mr. Biden used pandemic powers to pause student loan payments for another six months. Remember the pandemic, COVID? Remember when the president said the pandemic was over? Is the pandemic over? The pandemic is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Uh, it's, but the pandemic is over. That's interesting, right? It's over before the election, but after the election, well, now we got to talk. Pandemic powers are tough to give up for the president, any president. If the pandemic actually ends, proxy voting ends, that means members of the House have to show up to vote. Imagine that. They have to go to work. Border policy changes. This is complicated, of course, for the administration. We can do a whole segment on that. Student loans, again, complicated. Mr. Biden wants to use COVID powers not only to pause payments, but also forgive hundreds of billions of debt. So he says it's only fair that you pause while the courts figure out the forgiveness. Well, can't do any of that if the pandemic ends. Healthcare coverage, health emergency changes insurance regulations again. How do you tell people they will now have to pay for COVID care? Dr. Fauci, at least, has been consistent. He never said the pandemic is over and didn't today, although nobody actually cared what he said. In fact, he said goodbye at the White House podium today. Remember when his White House briefings were must-see TV? Even MSNBC today, they cut away from Dr. Fauci's goodbye after a minute. But he leaves behind just a few loose ends, namely where COVID came from and if he's ever going to say, if anybody's going to ever actually declare the pandemic over. Maybe those rather inconvenient questions are another reason why President Biden trotted off to Thanksgiving vacation before his chief medical advisor faced the media. Remember when Mr. Biden attached himself to Dr. Fauci with super glue? Fauci was science, science was Fauci, whatever Fauci said we followed. That ended a while ago. It became just inconvenient for President Biden. And today, you almost felt bad for Dr. Fauci. This was his moment to say, Goodbye. Mr. Biden sent him to the podium with only Crean Jean-Pierre as protection. I will not call on you if you yell. And also, you're taking time off the clock because Dr. Fauci has to leave in a couple of minutes. I, I'm done. I'm not, going, I'm not getting into a back and forth with you. Hmm. That was one exchange with a reporter who dared ask where COVID came from. We probably won't ever get the real answer. If we can't trust them to say when COVID is over, how can we trust them to tell us where it started? Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.